Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octeo Studio and today I'm sharing the journal that I made to do the My Life 2017 project that is a group over on Facebook and is put on by four YouTube creators. Um, I'll leave a link below to the group in case you want to join in. It seems to be a combination of art journaling, plannering, and maybe a little bit of scrapbooking. So I will, I guess I'll be doing all those things a little bit here and there. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. But I've created this journal out of 140 pound um, watercolor cold press paper that's from Canson. And it came in a 9 by 12 uh, gluey topped pad and I cut the pages down to nine by nine so I cut the three inch strip off the edge which I'll use for tags throughout the year uh, they're pretty much the perfect size for tags and then I made a template and punched holes in the pages and as I need more pages I can just cut more I have more of the paper um, and then I had a piece of heavy uh, cardboard that I'm using for the cover and then a piece of a package that is like it was like a cardboard envelope and it was from my friend Peg and she drew that picture of me on the front and I wanted to save that um, not technically in 2017 but I wanted to save it so I made the back cover out of that cardboard envelope I just cut it down to nine and a half by nine and a half saving that um, that part of the package that she had sent mail art. Then now I'm uh, putting a couple coats of white gesso on the the cardboard just to seal it up and make it a little bit more uh, sturdy. I did put two coats and then let it dry for a while. And then what I'm going to do to cover it, I just want it to be simple. I want it to be striking and pretty, but simple. I don't want to spend a bunch of time on the covers. So I'm using some gel printed uh, deli paper. A lot of these green ones, um, well, pretty much all of it is from those two canvases that I made in December, the sea turtle and the octopus. I jelly printed a bunch of deli paper back then. And you can see me doing it on video if you want to. I'll try to remember to link it. I don't know if I'll remember or not. I'm pretty tired, but I'll try. <laughs> and um, then this piece, this torn piece, is from someone. I honestly have no idea. I've had it in my stash for a while. But I wanted, I was um, thinking about the color of the year, which I'm going to do some art for that. And... I started thinking about green and how much I like spring green and then I started thinking I really like spring green with turquoise or teal and so then that's how that's kind of how my brain settled on the color combination for the front of this well front and back of this journal because I really just like those colors together and I'm pretty happy with the color of the year so I started out by just tearing different pieces of this jelly deli <laughs> That's so fun to say. Jelly Deli Belly. <laughs> and I'm just stick them on, sticking them on with gel matte medium. So it's that thicker stuff. It's not the liquidy stuff. It's the thicker stuff. And I'm using this, uh, I guess you'd call it a brush, because it looks like a brush, that I got from um, Prima Marketing. Um, it's silicone. It's not an actual brush. It's like a silicone blade attached to a paintbrush handle. It's pretty handy for this type of collage. I'm using the uh, rule of threes where you divide your space into thirds on a grid and then you try to focus on one area where the lines would intersect to kind of get my layout something that I, this is a formation of abstract layout that I like, having the focal point be in the upper quadrant. Well, it's not a quadrant, is it? Because it's threes. <laughs> a third rent? <laughs> I'm not sure what that's called. Uh, I should know this. Um, 
Maybe something with try. Wow, I really am tired. It's late, and I am, like, really tired. But <laughs> I need to get a lot of videos done and pre-scheduled so that I can go out of town for five days for the funeral. So that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so once all my Jelly Deli was on there in the places I wanted, then I folded the edges to the back of the cardboard, set that aside to dry, and now I'm doing the back. So remember that drawing of me done by Peg Robinson is going to be on the inside and this is the outside of the back cover so when you get to the last page and you see the inside of the back cover that drawing will be there from the package that I cut up. I just liked it. I thought it was cool. <laughs> I wanted to keep it. So same thing on the back. Um, different formation but I've made the line be two-thirds up from the bottom instead and then I'm putting making my focal point in, in pretty much the same area. A little bit to the halvesies on this one. Didn't mean to, but um, had to do with the size of the paper, I guess. And it's nice to use up some of these. These The rest of these scraps, when I get around to it and I start cleaning up and organizing my studio for the year, I'll be uh, putting these scraps in my color boxes so that I can use them on other projects. So I always print way too many of the colors that I need when I'm doing the pro when I'm doing the the paper painting and then I always have leftovers. So again, folding these to the back and tucking them over so that the edges of the cover will be covered by paper all the way around. It is a very lightweight paper, but I'm sealing it up with the um, matte gel pretty well, so it should be fine. It should handle the abuse that I'm going to give this little book all year long. <laughs> I believe that there is like some type of a video or prompt or something for this project every single week, which is really hard for me to keep up with, but I'm going to do my best. Um, it seems fun and I like all the YouTube creators. I like their channels, the ones that are doing this, so I wanted to support them and play along and maybe you guys will too. I don't know. I always like to support other people that are creating YouTube videos and giving you content for free. I like to um, talk about them and make sure that you're aware of what's going on so that you can support them as well because we're all on the same boat and I'm sure they do the same for me. <laughs> I don't know if they would but I think they would. So. Then on this, uh, I've switched back to the front cover again, and I'm going to make a pocket. Um, I have a jelly printed piece of cardstock, and I folded one edge of it and then trimmed it down to the size so that I can make a pocket to stick. Like um, if I have some little ephemera, like, um, well, like for this month, I have the, the program that I made um, for the funeral. And since I made that, I can, and it's also like a keepsake, I can stick it in here. Um, I can stick a copy of it in here from um, when I get back in the pocket and keep it as a keepsake of something that happened this year. Not a happy thing, but still, um, still a keepsake, you know. It has a picture of her on the front and uh, her obituary on the inside, stuff like that. So I might do that or, um, you know, concert tickets, Broadway tickets, uh, anything like that that you keep could be put in the pocket instead of like gluing them on the pages. There are a lot of significant events this year. Um, graduation, stuff like that, um, that I'll probably have something to keep and I can either put it on the page like a scrapbook page or I could put it in the pocket. So that's why I'm making a pocket. Um, I'm using, well that bottom uh, washi tape that I used was off a package that someone sent me. I just tore it off 
when people put washi tape that I like on packages, I just keep it. <laughs> and I'm using tacky glue because, you know, washi tape doesn't always stick down permanently. So I'm putting the tacky glue under the tape and then that will help it to not peel up later and annoy me. Because it's bound to happen if you don't stick it down. That's some uh, fabric washi tape and it has a peel on the back of it that annoys the heck out of me. It takes me forever to peel those. And because the tape is the same color, it doesn't really affect what, lo what it looks like on the front, so I just folded it over on those top pieces. I managed to dump that entire bucket onto my desk. <laughs> Fell off the shelf, dumped onto the desk. That's all the real thin ones, real washi tape from, you know, Japan or something that I ordered one time. From Amazon, of course. <laughs> I thought it was going to be thicker than that. It's very thin, but um, I'm going to put a couple strips of it across the pocket so that you can tell it's a pocket because it's kind of blending in to the paper that I put in the background. Very skinny washi tape. Washi tape was originally made out of rice paper, and that's the reason that... Um, it is what it is, it's rice paper. But nowadays, I mean, the ones that we get, you know, at the dollar store or Michaels or whatever, a lot of them are even made out of like a plasticky surface. Some of them are made out of paper. Some of them are made out of fabric. So they're not all necessarily the true washi tape. So then I'm also going to put a pocket in the back here, but I'm going to put it, um, instead of putting it up and down, I'm going to put it from the side so you can tuck things into it because I still wanted to keep that drawing. So this is just a piece of cardstock that I wiped excess paint onto that I had on my palette, um, you know, just to save it. And it's white cardstock and I'm going to do the same process with that, sticking it down with glued tape. <laughs> and I'm using that fabric tape all the way around this one. As you can see, still see the drawing. I have my purple streak in my hair and everything. She drew my purple streak. And it says Shimmer Squad on it and then shall see on the bottom. It was um, the package for our Shimmery Art collaboration that we're doing, which is coming up this month again. Uh, on the 13th of this month will be our um, collaboration videos with the Peg, Eva, Ina, and myself. So look out for that. I haven't made it yet, but I will. <laughs> this is where I'm trying to peel the tape and it refuses to peel. That's why it's taking so long. If you're enjoying this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment so I know that you were here, um, subscribe if you haven't already, share if you want to, and uh, go check out the Facebook group if you'd like to participate in this year-long project. So to finish off the front, I didn't really do anything else, I just left the collage as it was, and I've got out some uh, archival inks trying to decide what color I wanted, and then some various alphabet stamps from Stampin' Up. These probably are all discontinued. I don't really even know. I think most of my stamps at this point are discontinued. But I do have several sets of alphabets, so I thought I would stamp My Life 2017 on the front so that um, this would be the book specifically for that. I still haven't decided what I'm going to what book I'm going to use for um, Pick a Stick Challenge. I'm not sure if if Mike Deacon is still doing Mission Inspiration or not, but I'll definitely be doing Pick a Stick Challenge. We're doing that again this year with a little twist, um, so you guys will need to look out for that and come and play with us. So once I was done stamping, I went ahead and 
drew around it with my black Posca pen just to make it a little bit more organic looking you know more ha kind of hand drawn looking but not really because it was stamped and I use my black Posca pen fine tip for this and then I also use my white a little bit not much but a little bit just for some highlights I think the book looks great and it really was a very simple process just using some jelly deli that I had laying around so and some uh, I don't know the cardboard probably came from the back of a package maybe some kind of a recycled cardboard then I added some glitter glue cuz you know glitter <laughs> Of course. If my life is going to be in 2017, it's going to have glitter in it, I'll tell you that much. There's no doubt about that. And then uh, to finish it off, I just drew a straight line with a metal ruler all the way around the front one. It was a little bit tricky having that um, glitter glue that hadn't dried yet. <laughs> and that's pretty much complete. Oh yes, I did add a few little accent lines. So thanks for watching, and that's it for me. Bye-bye.